Hi, um, welcome. In this video series, I'm going to go through the entire uh, 2012 uh, AP Calculus BC multiple choice, uh, no calculator section, um, one question at a time. Uh, and uh, yeah, and there are a couple of questions, about three of them that I solve in the AB Calculus multiple choice of the same 2012 um, international practice exam. So, uh, because I do those in the AB, you should go and look for those there in the AB exam. And it's only three questions that, uh, from this test that I admit. But uh, I do one question at a time and go through every question. So, here goes the first question. So, it says, if y equals sine cubed x, then dy dx equals. So, it's asking for the derivative. We all understand that y equals sine cubed x is another way of writing sine x all of that cubed. So we know that we require chain rule. So using chain rule, y prime, which is the same as dy dx, will have to equal um, three times sine x, all that squared, times the derivative of the inside function, since the inside function is sine x in the composition, the derivative of it is cosine x. That is, we view this as a composition of x cubed and sine x, and in that composition, sine x is the inner function, so we do the derivative of the outer function without changing the inner function. So that's a 3 sine x squared, 3x squared being the derivative of x cubed, and then times the derivative of the inner function, since this time that's sine x, its derivative is cosine x. And we can write this in a slightly more familiar form as 3 sine squared x cos x, which I believe is answer choice E. Alright, take care.